Welcome back to Warning 56K. Today we have a little different episode. I'll be going through the process of manually adjusting the fan speeds on Dell PowerEdge servers. Uh, this will cover 10th gen, 11th, 12th, 13th, and early 14th gen servers that have iDRAC up to a certain revision number. Um, it's all the, I can't remember the number, it's 3.0.0.3.0, lots of threes and zeros. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll be going through the process of installing IPMI tool, getting that going, and so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you'll want to do is download Dell's IPMI tool. So you'll just, I have a link to that in the description of the video, but you can also just type in Dell IPMI tool, Intelligent Platform Management Interface. That is it. Click on that, scroll down, download, completed downloading, go ahead and click on it and install. Agree. Now where you want to install this, just to keep it easy to get to as far as the directory that installs it to, because that's where you're going to have to go to run the commands. Just IPMI tool, and that's it. C semicolon backslash IPMI tool. And install and it's done click close now one of the first things you'll want to do is verify that IPMI tool ability IPMI tool ability tool capability is enabled in your iDRAC so you'll want to open up a web page and go directly to your iDRAC's IP mine is .5 Boom. <clears throat> then you log in with iDRAC credentials. I created one user. Go in, usually takes a few seconds to log in. Okay, and now that it's up or still loading, you'll want to go to iDRAC settings and expand that. And then you'll want to click on network. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see IPMI set. Oh, whoops. You'll see IPMI settings. Enable IPMI over LAN. You want to make sure that that's enabled or check marked. If it's not, check it. Go down to the bottom right. Click apply. Um, but other than that, just make sure that that's enabled. If you're already enabled, you're good to go. <clears throat> then you're ready to start using it. So. Uh, first thing that you want to do is open up a command prompt. So go down to the search bar, type CMD, right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Yes, accept. Now you'll want to get to the IPMI tool directory. So you will type in cd backslash cd space IPMI tool take you into that directory. Now here's where all the magic happens. This is where you run all the commands. <clears throat> so what I do is um, actually you can bring up, I'd highly recommend pulling up a notepad or some sort of little word processor just so you can put a bunch of these commands in so that you don't have to type everything out every single time. But first one to start off with, <clears throat> let's start off with Enabling manual fan control. I could run that one, but I've already enabled it on this one. But so let me go ahead and let me go through and disable it. So and the way it works is is let's go ahead and oh here I've got some saved. There we go. Mine's saved from a previous one there. So this is my IP address for my iDRAC. Everything always starts off with the IPMI tool dash i for the interface, LAN plus, h for the IP address, your iDRAX IP address, u for user, username, p for password, password for iDRAC. Um, this is a different command, so I want to get rid of that, but it's going to use all that previous information. So what we do is, is we take that, and then we take the very end copy and put in the raw directly after password. There we go. 
and that will disable manual fan control. So right now manual fan control was just disabled on the R720. So now let's enable it. So what we can do is, is we can go hit the up arrow, pull that back up. <clears throat> Enabling fan control is just simply changing this one to a zero. Everything else stays the same. So boom, manual fan control is now um, enabled again. So now let's start off with a, let's go straight for the gold. Let's go ahead and put in, <clears throat> and let's adjust the fan speeds up to 70% just so you can hear it actually take place here. This will be, that's a good 30%. Like this guy. Let's just actually let's do this. Let's make them all go. Let's make them all go straight to 50%. So as you can tell, that increased the fan speeds to 50%. Now what we can do is, is and what I'd recommend to do is to go ahead and have iDRAC actually still up. So go back to iDRAC. There we go, it's still saved. Submit, don't save. And you can go to fans, Let's see hardware, fans, and that will give you the reported speed that they're running at, as well as the percent speed but yeah so that's pretty much that's pretty much it um, now every single time that you run those commands I'll put up like a little image of a uh, I'll flash it up on the screen for a few minutes just to kind of show something you can maybe snap a picture of with your phone or save a screenshot of but that's the general layout of how it all works um, you will always have that beginning IPMI tool ILAN plus with dash H, your IP address, dash U, user, and every, the only thing that changes is at the very end with the raw, uh, those, those numbers right there. Um, but other than that, that's it. Um, it's pretty simple. As long as you can copy these commands down and just regurgitate them, just copy, paste, copy, paste, you can set it to what you want. Now, when setting the individual fan speeds, what you do is, is they're all pretty much the same. They're not individual fan speeds, but telling the fans their speed that you want. Uh, the way that you do that is, is you'll paste that in, and that's all done just with this last bit right here at the very end. Zero, two, one, that means that's commanding it to 33% speed. That's what it's gonna set that to when we do that. So let's hear what Actually, let's change it to something different. Let's change it to 70%, which is 0x46. So, 46. Sped it up quite a bit. So, now what we can do, we can use the up arrow, go back. We can go back down to 32. There we go. And it slows down. Or we could select, say, let's go to 20, and let's make it silent. Let's go to 14, 1, 4. Very quiet, almost silent. So, again, each time you run those lines, all you do is change that last two, last two values. Um, on individual fan speed, the way it works is, is you have it's a little bit different but for you'll have to command each fan here I'll show you so for instance you snag this line it's probably the one we were just running let's see there we go okay this 0FF right there that stands for all fans so to command just one in particular <clears throat> let's do fan Zero, zero, the first fan. Let's co command that one to 
100% <clears throat> and hear what it sounds like. 0x64. There she goes. There she is. So let's knock her back down to 14 with everybody else. And that's what you'll do. So for each individual fan you want to control, all you do is type change that value right there to say 00, zero fan 0, zero 01 fan 1, zero 02 fan 2, you know, and tell it the speed you want it and that's it. And what I did with mine in particular was <clears throat> to trim down the noise even more, I found out that the fans can live pretty happily or the server lives pretty happily with temperatures with all of the fan speeds running at 16% and just the CPU fans, the two that are directly facing the CPU. I think it's fans uh, two and five, I believe. But I've got those turned up to 30, just those two. So just two fans, quieter than a chorus of seven, you know, six or seven running. But other than that, that's it. That kind of wraps everything up. Um, again, I'll post links to everything, or links to the IPMI tool in the comment section or in the description. And I'll also list all the hexadecimal values. <clears throat> and yeah, if you have any troubles with anything, leave a comment. Hopefully this video is helpful, made it pretty easy. I can sometimes make things difficult. So anyway, if you like this video, please leave a comment. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. But until next time, have fun.